Hi, Zach Germignani with Juice Analytics. I want to take a moment today to walk you through how easy it is to create a scatter plot visualization using our Juicebox platform. Here's an example I've put together. It's data about uh, female entrepreneurship. Uh, it is uh, a data set uh, that I will share with you. And what we've done is shown countries on a scatter plot uh, showing the, the women entrepreneurship index on one axis and the female labor force participation on the other axis. There are some interesting insights as you explore this data. And we've actually connected this uh, visualization with um, a table down below so you can see the details when you select countries. So you'll see which countries you've selected up there and they'll show down below um, with uh, those selections. So this is a very common way of being able to break out some data. And let's get to work showing you how we put this together. I've got a simple data set that I found that, lays, that has that data by country. And we're going to build that application in Juicebox. So here I am logged into Juicebox. We're going to create a new application. We're going to call this application uh, Women in Business. And uh, you can add a description if you like. You can pick any color you want or some preset colors. You can pick from different uh, font families that we've uh, incorporated in here. And in just a moment, you can create uh, your application. So that's creating a kind of starting point for your application. Of course, we're gonna have to load up data and build it ourselves. So let's find that application here and we click the edit button to jump into the application itself so there it is uh this there's just sort of the frame the skeleton of the application here we're going to start by loading up that data set i had um it's in a google sheet that i will make available but uh, i downloaded that as a csv file so i could load it into Juicebox. We're gonna load that up into the application and uh, we're gonna take the data ingredients, uh, which are the building blocks for our visualizations. And you'll see a sample of the fields that are found uh, in that data set. And we simply click select add automatically and we're gonna add all of those, in, those data fields that we found in here. There's a bunch of configuration you can do around both the, the measures that you load up and the dimensions to make the labels look right and do calculations. But there's really nothing um, we're gonna worry about right now in here. So you're in your, we move over to the designer tab. This is um, where we lay things out on the screen. And uh, first thing we want to do is we want to create that scatter plot so i'm going to show you how easy that is you simply add a scatter plot to one of these existing slices we want to show countries as the items in as the bubbles and we're going to show um, on one axis the labor force participation and the other axis the entrepreneurship index you have the option of si adding a size measure and also the option of choosing how many regions how much you want to break up your scatter plot into four or nine regions and that's going to create the create that layout right there um i think i flipped the axes from what i had done before uh, and also i'm going to add a table because uh, that that gives you the option to really display the details of the things that have been selected so i'm going to show countries and there are a bunch of measures in there here that we can show. Um, we're going to put put those all into our table. And that table is automatically connected in Juicebox. So that when I make selections at one level up here, if I select these countries, that's automatically going to filter into the table. There's really nothing you have to do about that. One of the other kind of neat features in Juicebox is that you can uh, decide how you want to lay out your visualizations. This generally we lay things out vertically, but you can also lay them out horizontally. So put these, we could put these two, two things side by side um, and that would kind of help things fit on the screen a little uh, more tightly. Bunch of things we can do here, we can add color, um, titles, but that's a really good start.